I was reading a article in the New York Times. This is a really interesting article about an island off the coast of Greece called, I don't know if it's pronounced Icaria or Icaria. It's a 99 square mile island. About just under 10,000 Greek nationals live there. It's about 50 miles or 30 miles off the coast of Turkey, which Lewis has visited. This is a fascinating place. The, the, the New York Times article actually starts by profiling an individual who was diagnosed with lung cancer 30, 40 years ago, something like that, 25 years ago, told he had about six months to live. He said, you know what? Funerals are much cheaper in Icaria. I'm going to go out there. It'll be 200 bucks for a traditional Icarian funeral in those dollars versus whatever it costs in the US. And uh, I'll just you know, hang out there. And he went to Icaria, basically just spent his time in bed with his, with his then elderly parents. And he started feeling better. And he ended up tending a garden. He ended up uh, 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 basically just getting better. And we know how anecdotally we hear about these stories of spontaneous cancer cures. Putting that aside, this individual's story was the catalyst in the New York Times to really look at Icaria and look at how they are one of the three areas in the world that's been identified as, as having a di hugely disproportionate number of people who live into their late 90s and, and hundred, uh, you know, over 100 years old and started looking into a lot of different things. And it really is fascinating. I encourage you, if you want to first start with the New York Times article. If you Google New York Times, uh, and then the name of the article is The Island Where People Forget to Die. Google that, read the article, then check out Wikipedia about Icaria and read more about it. It's pretty interesting. In a half hour, you'll get a lot of information. What is going on on this island that is making people live long? Part of it is lifestyle. People get up late. One of the few doctors on the island says he doesn't even open until 11 a.m. because nobody is getting up in time for that. People take naps. People are up pretty late. People work together. There's a lot, it's not a rich place. In other words, in a, in a lot of areas there, it's subsistence level, right? People work together for farming what they need. There's some touristy type businesses. But on the whole, it's a place where people are really kind of living communally in a certain way. What about the diet? This is really what's being looked at. There's a few interesting things here. There's talk of a local mountain tea, which people drink there, Lewis, which is made of a number of dried herbs. And it's often had at the end of the day, almost like as, a, as an end of the day cocktail. And it includes wild marjoram, uh, sage, a type of mint tea, rosemary, and a drink made from boiling dandelion leaves and adding a little bit of lemon. This is thought to have a number of uh, uh, l positive life expectancy qualities. Have you heard about this at all? I've never heard of, of this particular drink. No. Natan, are you familiar with this? No, not at all. Natan is into different herbs and different spices and all sorts of stuff. You think you might have heard of it. The other thing is what are the eating habits from childhood on, right? Compared to in the U.S. and many other industrialized areas where we're having a lot of processed foods, we're having unhealthy meat, particularly meat that's been fed with, uh, uh, with grain and corn, even though the corn lobby will tell you that that's very, very healthy, so on and so forth. What is the diet there? Well, it's a variation of the Mediterranean diet. A lot of olive oil that hasn't been cooked or heated vegetables, low in dairy except for goat's milk, which goat's milk apparently, Lewis, is also known to be particularly easy to digest and positive health benefits, uh, meat products which are basically unprocessed and, and pretty limited, moderate amounts of alcohol, including wine, which has been known uh, to have some positive health effects, homegrown potatoes and a lot of bean type products, lentils, black eyed peas, garbanzo beans, etc., uh, honey, local bread, and a lot of wild greens. So oftentimes, it's interesting, some of the local greens that they have there can have 10 times the antioxidants of red wine. So that's kind of the broad spectrum of what's going on there. As I read the article, I was reminded of the island of Pala in Aldous Huxley's book, Island, which is a book I rec a highly recommended book. I think I've actually recommended it on my book recommendations. What's your reaction when you hear something like this? There has to be something to this that goes beyond just genetics, because this individual who moved back, and again, this one guy may be one of these anecdotal, non-explainable examples, but he did live in the US. Yeah, that <clears throat> one, one guy could be an anomaly, but we see this in places like um, Okinawa, Right. And Women in Okinawa live very long. That's one of the three places on the list with this, actually. Yeah, yeah. and there are certain places in the world where this happens, where people have specific uh, diets that are incredibly healthy, and it just happens to work out that way, and they end up living very long lives. Natan, what's your reaction when you hear something like this? I mean, I think the takeaway message is that it's not any one thing. It's probably a combination of the Mediterranean diet, the herbal tea, living in the mountains and exercising more, 
um, everybody feeling like they're, you know, probably the lack of inequality, economic inequality in that area might also be a part of it. People feel like they're a community. So it's probably a combination of things. Fascinating stuff. I encourage you to check out the article and also check out the bonus show. After this show ends, there's a whole other show which producer Lewis hosts and produces. You have to be a member to get that. Go to davidpackman.com slash membership. Sign up. It's, we're talking about pennies a day here, Lewis. Pennies a day. That's it. Big help to the David Pakman Show. We'll take a break. Plenty more after this. Stay tuned. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.